My name's David Nickens. Uh, I own Nickens Brothers Racing. Been racing since the early 80s. Uh, retired for a long time, ran pro stock, and decided to come back out here and race again. I love Comp Eliminator, and it's always kind of been in my heart. Won the championship in 1991. My son won the championship in 1995, and we've always been invested in the category, and I love the class, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm currently racing a uh, Dodge Stratus, and we are going to run it and be altered automatic. Pretty excited about the weekend. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, this is our first time back, basically, for about 18 or 20 years and uh, a funny trailer story i tell you once we uh we were using a smaller trailer and we were going to louisiana and we had bought this real trick awning and put on the side of it and as we, we were going down the highway we were excited about getting to the races and so when we got there we went to put the awning up and we looked and it was gone a couple hours later some racer came up and said hey i was driving down the side of the road and i found this very brand new awning on the side of the road. Look what I did, I'm gonna put it on the side of my trailer. So we gave it to him. <laughs>
Ashton Hudson. I'm out of Dallas, Texas. I run a 1998 Ford Escort in E Super Modified Automatic. So what E Super Modified means is that it has a single four barrel, 321 cubic inch Ford motor, four cylinder heads. I do most of the engine work myself, engine design. Uh, put, assemble the engines, assemble the transmission, the rear ends. Pretty much the whole car project is, is mine. Um, if you're into Fords or have it like Fords over the ubiquitous Chevrolet, this is one of the few cars you'll be able to pull for whenever you're watching competition eliminator run. There's basically one other car in the country that's similar to it, but other than that, it's pretty much just me and him. So. Okay, so trailer stories. I have many, many, many trailer stories. So people, people that know me have heard of my trailer stories, and I think it comes from a genetic curse from my family because I've seen to deal with tires my entire life. But the worst story that I had was I was pulling, I had a dually, I had a 42 foot enclosed trailer. I was going to a race in Noble, Oklahoma. And I just passed up Ardmore, filled up with gas, ready to get to the track. I'm in the right lane, it's bright sun, it's early morning, about nine o'clock in the morning. And, and all of a sudden there's just a horrible bam and it throws me back, hurts my neck. I thought the trailer had come off the hitch, so I look in the mirror, the trailer is still there on the hitch, and I look in my side mirror and I see this big white dually that's that's crossing over into the lanes, and then he hits the side of the trailer again. So, oh, so we pull over and stop, I get out, and it was a poor young guy, he worked for his mom in a construction company, so it was like a work truck that had a big gigantic iron bumper on the front of it, and what had happened was he told me, he said he fell asleep, and whenever he woke up, he saw the trailer, he jerked it to the left to try to avoid it, and it clipped the left rear of the trailer. So it pushed the whole trailer door in. Then he went forward and smashed into the side of the trailer. So I'm looking, and my only thought at the time is, can I get to the track? And once I get there, am I gonna be able to get this car out of the trailer? How am I gonna have to get, get the car out of the trailer? So uh, anyway, everything worked out. He actually had insurance, which was beneficial. Um, but I made it to the track and uh, had to use several pry bars and several other people to help me, but we eventually winched the door down so we could get the car out and finish the weekend. Okay, so what's your name? Robert Edgar. And where are you from? I'm from Granite Shoals, Texas. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? Yeah, this is a 2006 Chevy Cobalt built by Jerry Bickle. It was formerly owned by uh, the Cagnazzi Bunch. Uh, Dave Connolly drove it in Pro Stock back in 06. I've had it since about uh, 2010, so you can tell how long it's taken me to get it ready. <laughs> What's a fun trailer story you have? Well, I guess the one that comes to mind is I put a new set of tires and wheels on this trailer right here. Took off to go to the races, and we were driving through Marble Falls, Texas. And someone pulled up beside me and pointed, and and there was smoke coming out from behind my trailer. And I guess they had called the fire department, so we pulled over. Fire department, fire trucks, ambulances, police cars. They thought the trailer was on fire and I hadn't checked the backspace on those new wheels and I had one rubbing and it was uh, making a bunch of smoke but it wasn't on fire. <laughs> And uh, we were going around the interstate, and, and Jerry, my buddy, the thriller, was driving. 
and he made a left turn, and I didn't have the gumbo stacked in the refrigerator correctly. When he made that left turn, it slid out the refrigerator, opened the door, the gumbo and the milk all splattered all over the ground, and we were covered, the whole floor was covered with gumbo and milk. Well, Jerry wanted not to throw food away. I really think when I wasn't looking, he ate a little bit off the floor because he didn't want to throw it away. But we had to stop at the truck, truck stop in Baton Rouge and clean the entire floor, move the sofa, everything to get all that milk and gumbo off the floor. It's funny now, but at the time he wanted to strangle me because I didn't stack it in the refrigerator correctly. That's one of the funniest stories going down the road in the many, many years of complimentary racing.